Welcome to Developing Your Search Strategy and Keyword Searching in PubMed. In this session, we'll be learning how to perform an effective literature search using keyword searching in PubMed. By the end of this video series, you'll be able to identify relevant databases, perform keyword and advanced searching in databases. Today, we'll be using the clinical question, does hand washing among healthcare workers reduce hospital acquired infections? Here is our PCOT. It focus on the, focuses on the most important elements of our clinical question. And we'll be using the keywords in this PCOT to use to build our search strategy and filter our search results. The P in PCOT is patient population problem, hospital acquired infection, I is intervention, hand washing, C is comparison, no hand washing, O is outcome, reduced infection rate. T, type of study. So the type of study we'll be looking for is randomized control trials. When we combine our concepts, we'll be using Boolean operators and an or. Boolean logic uses operators and, or, and not to connect search terms when using catalogs, databases, or a web search tool. When looking at your concepts, you'll be listing them and also listing synonyms. You'll separate your concepts with and and separate your synonyms with or. So for example, hand washing or hand washing or hand hygiene or hand disinfection. We'll be ending that and using hospital acquired infection or cross-infection, or nonsocomal infection, or methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aureus, or MRSA. Some search tips for keyword searches. When we use quotes, we can search as we can search the word as a phrase. When we use the truncate, it searches the word and searches alter, alternate endings of the word. So, for example, hand wash truncated or hand wash truncated, or quotes hand hygiene, or quotes hand disinfection. Then we'll end that quotes hospital inquired infection, or cross infection, or quotes nomsocomal infection, or methicillin resistant Staphylococcus aureus, or MRSA. To start our keyword search, in PubMed, we will go to MUSC Library's website. When you get to the website, you will look under Resources for and click on Students. Once you click on Students, you will get a, be given a list of colleges. We will click on College of Nursing. This will take you to the College of Nursing page. The front page looks like this enlist literature databases, article appraisals, systematic reviews, e-journals, and document delivery information. Today we'll be using PubMed, so under literature databases we will click on PubMed. Once you click on PubMed, it'll bring you to PubMed's homepage, which looks like this. The top search box is your keyword search box, and that's what we'll be working with today. In PubMed, PubMed has biomedical journals, life science journals, and a few online books. Most are peer-reviewed journals, and there's more than 24 million citations. To get to access a full text, you would need to use PubMed through our library website. So anytime you use PubMed, you would just go to the MUSC Library webpage and click on PubMed. This will help you get to everything that we have so, you know, everything we have subscribed to full text. If you use PubMed through Google, you will not be able to access everything that we have, MUSC has, subscribed to full text. So please always remember, use PubMed through MUSC Library's website. Today we're using our 
example, hand washing and cross infection for our simple keyword searching. So at the top of the box, if you're going to follow along in PubMed, you would type hand washing and our Boolean operator and then cross infection. And then you would click on search. Once you do that, the search results into 2038 articles. We want to narrow that search, so on the left hand side we would click on show additional filters. Once we click on that, we'll be able to click on language and select English, and then we'll click on article types and choose randomized control trials. And this will help us narrow down our search. Once you click on those, our search is narrowed down to 49 articles. When we select the article type, it helps us reduce the search results and retrieve higher levels of evidence. In our next keyword search, we'll be using our other example where we took all of our concepts and synonyms and listed them with ors and ands. So if you're following along, you would type in hand washing or hand washing or hand hygiene or hand disinfection. Then you would type in and hospital acquired infection or cross infection or non-syncomal infection or methicillin resistant staphylococcus aureus or MRSA. Then once you have that all typed in, you would click on search, and our results are 3,084 3, articles. On the left, we will click on show additional filters and narrow our results by selecting English and randomized controlled trials. And then once we narrow our results with English and randomized control trials, we end up with 65 articles. And let's say I wanted to see if MUSC had a particular article from this set, and I wanted to find the full text. I would just click on the title, and it would bring me to this page, and if there's an abstract information listed, it would be here. And then on the right, I would click on Find it in MUSC Library to get to the full text. In our next video, we will be using PubMed again, and we will be using the advanced search with the same hand washing question that we used in this video. And if you have any questions we will, about this video or others, please email or call Candace Moore or Emily Brennan.